everybody, Valkor here. It has been far, far too long since we last dove into the world of Wario World. Uh, I can explain. Um, hopefully, you can already tell, the video should look a ridiculous amount better and be in glorious crispy 60 frames per second. Uh, I have been searching for a while for ways to reduce input lag and, uh, it's fixed, I believe. I was having issues with mild input lag playing things like Melee on this Wii. Uh, so I ordered some component cables, which appear to have fixed it and make the game look a lot better. With all that said, I've wasted enough of your time. Let us go fight Red Brief J where we left off. Six months ago, however long ago this was, oh my. I like this boss, actually. Uh, he's very simple and easy to beat. But I mean, just just look at him. I'm pretty sure this guy is a JoJo villain. Look at him posing. He's gotta be a JoJo villain. I don't know if he's got a stand or what, but... So, how you beat Red Brief J, you run around in circles and wait for him to charge at you. And once he charges, he can be like, Oh, I'm falling! And then you ground pound, and he falls in the lava, and you eat all the money. He's a very simple boss. Stomp a stomp. I do appreciate his posing though. He's quite fabulous. Oh, sometimes he'll shoot paw fire blasts at you. They're not much of a threat. Stay away from him and you'll be good. Although if he does that stomp attack, try and be in the middle or you'll get your butt burned. One. Two. Hello. And repeat three more times. Punching him will do nothing, so I'm not even gonna try for fear of getting my butt burnt. Ow! Nope, see, that's, that's what happens. Burning butt. Ah! Have mercy! It does nothing, but it might, maybe. Nope, that's a new move. Spin to win. Your spin to win has nothing on mine. One. Two. Three. All right, we gotta do this two more times, and we'll be nice and done with the guy. Nice. Yeah, spin to win. Ah! Keep doing it again. I hurry up and charge at me. Now we gotta do more of the, more of the. Here we go. If he hits you, he won't keep charging. So you gotta make sure to get out of the way of them. And if you wait too long, uh, when he's flailing on the edge, he'll recover just fine. So you gotta punish his recovery. Just like any Smash Bros. player. And Mario's not that good in Smash 4, sadly, but... Oh! Oh no! He got me. Tricksy bastard. So, for some reason, he seems to be able to walk on fire, and even though he gets burned by it like that, does not actually take damage as far as I can tell. Alright, last charge. Goodbye, Jojo villain. Red Brief J, you shall be missed. It kind of sounds like a stand name. Red Brief J. Yeah, maybe. Goodbye, sir. You will be missed. And that is finally Thrillsville completed. I am sorry it took so long, but I hope the improved graphics quality and 60 FPS and stuff was worth it. Uh, I think it looks a whole lot better already, personally. A uh, Warrior World is actually one of the games that does play naturally in 60 for the GameCube. Not everything does, actually. Uh, there are games that don't. I don't know if Super Mario Sunshine does. You'd think I would, because that's actually my all-time favorite game, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Maybe I'll play it on here someday. I don't know. Anyway, that's gonna be all for this time. I know it's a short episode, but hey, uh, that's World 3 completed. That means we've got World 4 here. My least favorite world. And that's going to be Sparkle Land. Mostly because of this one. I hate Pecan Sands. That's not going to be a fun episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.